Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So here we have a rather unique device which I've not seen before. It's rechargeable and comes with a USB-C cable so you can charge it from a USB charger or even your computer. Now this little device is essentially a down converter designed to be used with the air band. It provides air band coverage onto a radio receiver that can receive around 29 megahertz and of course can demodulate AM. Now there are two versions of this little down converter available. There's a 100 megahertz version and a 110 megahertz version. So for example, if you wanted to listen to Airband at around 120 megahertz and had this little device in line with your antenna, then you would tune your radio to 20 megahertz. On one end, we have an RF input in the form of an SMA port, and this is where the antenna connects to. There's also a three position switch, either off, high Z or air. Now while in high Z mode, this device acts as a regular high impedance amplifier without any frequency down conversion. And then of course that last setting is called air, which enables the 100 megahertz down conversion or 110 megahertz down conversion, depending on which model you purchased. On the other end, there's an output SMA socket, along with a charging indicator and a USB-C port, which is used to charge that internal 700 milliamp hour battery which in the specification says can provide up to 60 hours when using this as a high Z amplifier or up to 23 hours as an aviation frequency converter. Now, before we connect it up, let's just take a quick look inside. Now it's fairly easy to get into and you can just remove four screws from one end to remove a faceplate. You can then just slide the board out to take a look. Now there's no real need to take this apart unless of course you want to replace the battery but here we can see a rather slim lined rechargeable battery already in place. And there on the other side, we can see all the board's components. Now, I don't know why, but I do love these black PCBs. Kind of gives that quality look to it, but it's not how it looks that's important, it's how it performs. Which leads me on to demonstrating reception using an SDR play SDR receiver. Now in the real world, this SDR device, the RSPDX R2, already supports receiving airband. But for simplicity and so you can see it working visually, I decided to demo it this way first. Now the down converter covers from 118 megahertz up to 138 megahertz, which if you have the 100 megahertz version like I do, we would see signals between 18 megahertz and 38 megahertz. So first up, here's some clips receiving airband while tuned right down to around 20 megahertz. That's a very good morning to Shuttle 9 Zulu. We're descending fly level 150 to be level of beam to stop it at 250 knots. T10 fly level 140, Shuttle 9 Zulu. I'm at 100, he's not too Zulu, but I'm at Shuttle 3 Romeo, descending fly level 150 at 220 knots. T10 fly level 100, United 938. Of course, if your SDR software application supports the entry of an offset frequency, you can enter this offset setting, which would be in this case 100 megahertz so that the displayed frequency is actually what you're listening to, just like this. Run F4 Alpha Zulu, contact London 127, decimal 430. 127, 430, Run F4 Alpha Zulu, thank you, good day. Bye. Welcome London 121, decimal 030, looking at 55 kilos, goodbye. 121030, 226,000 November. Run F4, 14, Alpha, 15, 15, thank you, good day. Now this SDR receiver does support Airband 2, but to demonstrate reception using an actual hardware radio, and it can be connected to the antenna port like this. All you need to do then is tune between 18 and 38 megahertz. Then level 200, be level by COVID, United 5. Little 9 Bravo reports the C to London on 121 decimal 030. Roger that, easy. Uh, 36 X ray Delta, follow 3 5 0 on coastal distance. 36 X ray Delta, follow 3 4 0. You said a follow 3 4 0, easy. 36 X ray Delta. That's it, afternoon. Stephen 6 Bravo, descending level 360 towards the new ground. 121030, United 5. Good day. Bye bye. If you're using this down converter with an SDR receiver, then you can use third party applications to decode aviation data like ACARs. Now, these are little bursts of data transmissions sent from aircraft to ground stations, and they normally contain a variety of information about the aircraft or even the flight status. The ACARS plugin on SDR Uno, as shown here, works very well at demonstrating this feature. Now don't forget the frequency that's shown on SDR Uno display here 
is actually 100 megahertz lower because I'm using an offset with the down converter. As mentioned earlier, there's also a high impedance amplifier option, which does not down convert, but it provides reception using something like a short telescopic antenna, just like those silver ones that we sometimes get with radio receivers. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this device would be of any use to anyone, but I guess if you do have an HF only radio and you have a desire or need to listen to airband, then this could work very well for you. Now, of course, at the time of making this video it was around £20, and I'll leave a link below so you can check out more information if you wish to do so. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video, and until the next one, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.